Hello guys, today I'm going to be bringing you guys the HTML basics, another little series I'm going to be bringing you guys, uh, that way when we get into the PHP, uh, when we do PHP we're going to be using HTML, so I thought I'd bring some HTML tutorials, and basically today we're just going to get to the structure and make a basic web page. Um, so yeah, we're going to be making it from script, we're not going to be using, uh, you know, Dreamweaver, we're not going to be using anything like that, we're not going to be designing it visually, we're going to be designing it through scripting. So the first thing we need to know about HTML is it's completely ASCII based. Um, so it's it's a really old language, the American Standard uh, something. I can't remember the rest right now. But anyways, yeah. So the second thing we need to know is it works by tags. So the first tag we're going to need in our web page is HTML. Uh, so every page needs to begin and end with an HTML tag. So to be to begin a tag, a tag is specified in between these greater or less than math symbols, and every tag that is started needs to have an end. So for HTML, we're gonna have slash HTML to end it. So to end every tag, we're gonna do the exact same letters as we did to start the tag, but we're gonna put slash in front of it to signify the end. The next thing we're gonna worry about is the head tags. Uh, the head tags is basically what the user doesn't really see on the page. Um, this can be metadata, it can be keywords, it can be the title in right here, like this one is Google, uh, stuff like that. And then we're going to have our body tags, which is what the user sees, which is right here. You can use many different editors for this. You can use HTML kit where it has like a little, you know, code window and then you can click below and it'll give you a preview. I personally just like to stick to Notepad++. I'm just, I'm used to it, and I like it, uh, but it's really up to you. If you guys want to download Notepad++ as well, the link will be in the description below. So anyways, let's get right into it again. So, yeah, so in the head tag, we are going to close that off as well. Okay, so now in between the head tags, we're going to be using another set of tags called title, and this will be defining our title on the tab. Uh, we're not going to get into keywords or anything like that or metadata today. Uh, maybe we'll get into that uh, another point in the tutorial. And we'll just keep using this web page. Uh, the tutorial will just keep, we'll make this basic web page and we'll just keep evolving on it. So anyways, so let's say we want to make the title test or I don't know, my web page, all right, slash title. So there is our title, and now we are done with head, so we're going to close off our tag. Oh, I didn't notice I already closed it off. My mistake. Okay, so now we're going to get into our body tags. So we're going to put body, and this is where all of our information is going to go for the main section of our page. Uh, so we can type this right now. We can type, this is my web page, okay, and we can save that. And if we go ahead and uh, put it up here, as you can see, it has my web page as the title, and it has this is my web page. Uh, but it's a pretty basic page, just a white background, has the text up in the top corner. Uh, it's not very stylish. And we'll also get into CSS, uh, cross-gating style sheets, or sorry, cascading style sheets. Uh, we'll get into that later on as well. And then, um, yeah, so as you can see, I didn't close off my body tag, and it didn't really cause any problems. But if you don't and you get further on through it, you can have uh, formatting problems and all that crap. And you don't want it, just make sure you close off your tags. Also, if you notice, when you highlight tags, and this is something I like about Notepad++, if you click somewhere in the tag, it'll specify where the end tag is. So it's, it's good with that. So now we're going to give it some style. So we can use some different tags inside the body tag. Uh, one of these is bold. Okay, so bold is basically the B in the uh, greater or less than symbols. So as you can see, right here, it's not bold. Now we refresh, it's now bold because we've given it those bold tags. We've told it, okay, you're supposed to be bold, and it'll uh, make it bold. So another thing we can do is, I'm kind of doing it backwards here, but we can use center. Uh, this will put it in the center of the web page. Just one quick note, um, if you're using HTML, you need to use American English for the 
Uh, the tags, it's only recognized in American English. Like I said, American Standard, uh, ASCII. So you have to put American words. For example, uh, if you're in Canada, if you put, uh, song, like, uh, the Canadian spelling for it, uh, because of the French, uh, it won't work. It won't recognize the tags. So, um, yeah, another thing we can do is font. So font color equals red. Uh, size equals, uh, let's make it a size 12. I don't know. And now we just need to put slash font. Okay, so now we have our basic web page. Um, it's in big red text. It's in the middle of the page. But what we're missing is a background. And uh, later on, we're going to get into adding, you know, a, a background and a nice white content box with, uh, navigation and everything like that but we'll get into that later on this is just the basics of it so what we're going to do to add a background is we're going to be looking at this body tag so in body we're going to put background equals and then you can put a background image you can search for one on uh on the internets if you like to i'm just going to go take a quick look and see if i can find a good one so i'll be back in a second Okay, so I've found my background. I'm just going to paste the link. Um, so there we go. So now I'm just going to save it. And now that we've put our background equals, and then make sure you put this in quotation marks as well. So once we've done this, we now have our, this is my web page with the nice little background that I chose. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please leave a like below. Comment any questions or comments you have on the video and subscribe. I'll be bringing you guys more. Uh, of this, we'll get into, you know, cascading style sheets, we'll get into content boxes, navigation, um, maybe even sidebars if we can get into it, and we'll also incorporate it into our PHP. So, uh, yeah, until then, peace.